starting with running AC. In the 1930s in Shanghai, there was this wonderful Chinese jazz, and what that was, it was a blend of the Western jazz that you guys have heard on the radio with Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, and they combined it with Chinese instruments and singers. And one of those singers was Zhou Xuan, one of the probably the most famous uh, woman from that time, and we're going to recreate that tonight with a little modern twist. Uh, the visual with the uh, with their um, how you say stage presence and everything you know like they bring something they turn into something old into something totally new The project first started, it was, it wasn't a performance project, it was strictly audio, it was taking Chinese instruments and mixing it with hip-hop and electronica. But then I realized, um, while you could spread that around the internet, um, a performance would give me an opportunity to actually really share more of the culture. So I linked up with, with my friend Jamal Richardson, um, a rapper who I had met at the Whitney, and then I discovered he had a multitude of talents, including um, putting together a show and he introduced me to some software that would make it very easy to mash up a lot of my music together uh, and then set it to video. Jay, show me what a Chinese instrument sounds like, right here. So that's what's called a banghu and you've probably seen its cousin called the erhu, played in the New York subway somewhere. Clearly a lot of you have. And uh, I think what I want to do now is uh, let's bring back, uh, let's put some beats in right here. of the ingredients, and uh, what we need to add uh, after is some uh, Western harmony. So I think I'm going to kick it off with some jazz. And then the cream of the crop was this company, Neo Cha, which tapped into a bunch of creative Chinese artists, and um, in a way that had not been done before, before the advent of the internet. We work a lot with like Nike and Disney and help them with designs that are sold both in China and in the U.S. And, um, that's all created by the you know, select group of 300 artists that we kind of represent more formally. We tap into a big freelance community of all these um, young emerging artists who don't have other opportunities to you know, make a living off their work. So depending on what the project is, we find the right person who you know, might be an illustrator who's from Beijing who can really match the style of what you know, one of these brands needs and we help manage that whole process and at the end of the day, you know, the client gets a piece of work that's usually more on the artsy end of things, and then the artist gets paid, which is something that none of them have ever had any opportunity um, to receive in the past. China's just so much farther behind in the development. The creative industry is like a totally, not totally, but pretty new concept. If anything, actually, the Chinese government is supportive of what we do because we're helping them build a creative industry, and they know that they need to move from manufacturing to the creative world eventually, and we're, um, you know, one piece of that puzzle. It's nice, first of all, as a hip-hop artist, uh, and, and also someone who, who actually plays keys and is a musician also, it's nice to play uh, with other musicians outside of just the, the stereotypical genre, because you end up, you, you, you're exposing yourself to different audiences, um, you get different questions from the crowd because they're just not used to seeing this type of configuration, and ultimately I think you grow as an artist, and I think, um, I think we've all been able to feed off of each other and our different experiences to, to create a better project.
this is something very new to the people there, you know, to we Chinese people. So we don't really have the foundation. Slowly we can build up and maybe it will lead, some, lead uh, something wonderful later in the future. And I think one story that isn't told are sort of the exciting developments in culture and art over the past 20, 30 years since sort of the opening of China. And that's why I do what I do. I, I want to find a way for people to realize that it's not just all about the government or about the econ economy booming, that there is a very vibrant art scene um, that will become very competitive if it's not already um, with the art that we love here in the West. I am one small part of uh, a, a big movement which is just to share Chinese culture with the West, and um, I don't see myself uh, ever stopping that. And the moon and the stars are the same ones you see. It's the same old sun in the skies. And your love in my life seems like heaven to me. Like the breezes from old Shanghai. Like the breezes from old Shanghai. Like the breezes from old Shanghai.